Now I know, I know, I may look a lot sexier than RJ. Totally understand. I am playing for RJ tonight. I am your new RJ. And it's good to meet you, hello. Again, I, I know I am so much more sexier than RJ is. I'm, I'm much more handsome. I got the looks. Um, but it's fine. It's okay. We, we can deal with that. Right, this is my kitty ears. I'll be RJ. I am just kidding, guys. Welcome back to another stream. Right, so, obviously, I'm not wearing these things. I was just messing. These are RJ's new headsets. So she'll be wearing these on her streams from now on. So if you want to go watch that, that's hers. She just got them. She's quite happy. RJ's actually in the room with me right now. She's sitting on the floor. Yeah. Her computer is not set up just yet. She spent all her time busy with mine. And obviously, there's no time for her now to stream with us. Which is a bit of a shame. I'm so sorry. But... It's okay. And another thing as well, I can't stream for very long, guys. My power goes off in an hour and a half. So, <sighs> it's a messed up night, guys. It really is. I'm so sorry. Uh, but hopefully we'll make it up and we'll do some more stuff in the future. Longer stuff. But right now, this stream is just going to be to yap along, chat with you guys, play a bit of Seven Days to Die, me and you. Uh, RJ can maybe chip in now and then a word or two. But yeah, she's still busy. She's still doing the PC thing. So, yeah, is what it is. Boo says, <laughs> I, I, I'll I make a, a pretty damn fine RJ, I'll tell you that. I'll actually give you my OnlyFans details. No problem. And like RJ doesn't share her OnlyFans details. Just saying. Uh, matches the pink robe. Yes, it does, actually. It does match the pink robe. Maybe we can combine that and we can have like a double pink RJ. Um, you had all day. No, we didn't have all day actually. We woke up about midday and. We only got the parts at two. Only got the parts at two. I'm just gonna be my conscience tonight. She'll be in the background saying, Mr. Reed, don't do that. She'll just be there to annoy me. <laughs> yeah, so we only got the parts at like two. Uh, well, yeah. And then mine took a while because I had to clean a lot of the parts. A lot of my parts were dusty and dirty. And that's mission because you gotta get in the nicks and crannies and you gotta get, you gotta get all the dust pieces, you know. It's okay. It's okay. It's fine. Uh, still load shooting. Yeah, stage six, I think. I'm not sure. Five. Five you see. Sorry. <laughs> RJ will be will be correcting me tonight. <laughs> right. Okay. Uh, right. Let's join the server. Let's see how well it's going. We have six people online. Let's do this. Don't know what we're doing tonight. T today. Tonight. Whatever. Uh, yeah, so my power goes off at 12, 12, from 12 to 2, so that's nice. I'll probably eat my, my food then, yeah. It sucks. I, I mean, I think RJ herself wanted to really stream tonight as well, but yeah, we just can't. Uh, is my mic okay, guys? Because I've reset everything on my PC now, so my mic might sound a little bit softer. Just let me know in the chat, please. Um, I see you said six, but it's really five. Yeah, according to the brain trust in the background. <laughs> uh, microphone, okay. Okay, nice. Uh, it doesn't sound okay. Just saying. Maybe I need to be a bit closer. Yeah, that sounds better. That looks better. Right. Oh my goodness, I forgot my characters all in Advent. Let me drop all the stuff quickly. You guys did not see that. I did an event. You guys saw the event, right? You guys saw the event? I think you did. Right, that's fine. Okay, uh, but it's very dark. Jeez, let's get to the base quick. So yeah, I did I did an event here. Yeah, you guys saw the video. It was a video that was published. Uh, but yeah, I think RJ might stream tomorrow. Definitely. Definitely, I think she, she said to me at one point. Yeah, she said definitely. So... <laughs> uh, Elephants, Reach and Co. Jason, I'm so sorry RJ's not here. But she is here. She's basically if my brain. She's inside my brain. But you can hear her voice sometimes. Yeah. I mean, if she says hi. Hello. See, you can hear her in my brain. That's, uh, it's, it works pretty well. <laughs> uh, run for the admin tools before that despawn. You'll never make it. You, you, you'll never make it. It's, it's, it'll despawn. <laughs> 
way before you... Uh, it's just like, I'd be surprising if someone was in the area to grab that quickly. One repair kit in that, that's awesome. That was lucky. Right, how many people? There were seven. Okay, so the server should run a lot better. Right. Where's my stuff? I put my stuff somewhere now. Where did I put my stuff? This is the thing. Every time I admin, I think this is my stuff. This is my stuff. Right. I don't think that's mine, by the way. Let's chuck that out. Pipe bombs. SMG. One. A stone arrow. Nice. Paintbrush. Shotgun. Let's put all that there. Uh, Gav, with a $10 donation already, you gotta make me work for it, man. Ah, thank you very much, you're awesome. Uh, you are awesome, thank you, I really appreciate it. Um, but sorry, Arj is not here, so don't, 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 don't retract that donation because she's not here. I know you're thinking about it. I know you're thinking about it. Don't do it. I don't know, okay, that's fine. I'm good. We'll probably do some missions, I think. Get the blood rolling. Uh, we'll take some water with us. I got one, three, nine stews on me. I'll take that. Okay, we seem to be okay. I don't know what weapon I was using, actually, now to think of it. Um, I think that's actually mine. I'll take that. Uh, first aid kits, we'll take that if in case something happens to us. Some bum cream. Can never go wrong with that. I think it's my coins. Uh, right. Let's take one of those. I think we'll swap that with that, because that's a bit extreme. Make some more of like that. Try to do some buried supplied missions as well. See if we can get that going. I'm just trying to think if I had any melee combat weapon. I don't think I did. It's fine, I got this. We'll try and find another one along the way. Crossbow bolts, crossbow bolts. Yeah, I don't know. Did I have many? I don't think I did. Were they in here? They must have been in here, right? Uh, yeah, they are in here. Look at that. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah, I'll take those, and then I'll use that, and I think... I do need, need, need a, a close quarter weapon, though. I don't know what I was using last time. I don't remember. It's fine. I, I'll find something. We'll make it work. Okay. Let's get that going. Yeah, thank you so much, Gav. Appreciate it. I got my coffee here. So we just got to watch out for the time. Again, I do have an inverter, so if the power does go off on me and I forget, then it'll go beep, 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 and then we'll know the power's off, and then I'll have to stop. Because seven days to die pulls so much power on the PC. If my PC is just idle, or if, if I'm just watching a movie or something, it's fine. I can I can run through the entire power outage. Then it's it's not a problem. But as soon as there's uh, a game running, then I, it just gets really bad. No lights. What do I do? I Molotov it. There you go. Reach. Yes. Mute. Must I mute? Oh, she's gonna slap the thing. Okay. She slapped it. <laughs> I was snapping the, the, the front. The front, the front cover has to be banged in, so yeah. So she, she, she's there. She's busy. She's doing it. She's got it. She's good at it. It's fine. Uh, the tray doesn't open until wow, well, a long time, but uh, it's fine. I do want to actually take a look at this one base nearby. Yeah, I think the music might be too loud. Let me just change that quickly, guys. So we currently have 30 people watching. Welcome everybody, it's good to have you all here. So what I'm going to try and do is... I'll try and do some more base building today, if I can try and get that in. Uh, if not, then I'm going to have to reword this stream. Because that was, the, uh, that was the idea. I was supposed to do some base building and surviving and do some missions and all that. So after that, I'll just reword. Yeah, so there's a base somewhere along here that uh, was... It's, every time I log in, it, it's really going... It's really getting better and better and better every time I come past it. It's Wizard and someone else that are working on that base. I, I, I'm, I'm not too sure exactly ex who, who everybody's doing it. What's that? Oh, it's your light. Okay. Yeah, but how's everybody been doing? I'm so sorry. I think that it's been quite lacking of content this week. I, I've just been so lazy, I'll be honest with you. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the coffee. Sometimes the coffee makes it worse. I need to actually pump it up. And I think next uh, next week we will do. Uh, we'll start our new series that I want to do. I do also have a nice announcement for the uh, the patreons, probably after the stream. So I'll announce that new service coming along. So take some of this. Nice, mm, tasty cappuccino. Can never go wrong. Yeah. So it's this base that I was talking about. Yeah. 
I see they put that uh, invisible zombie force field here as well, so this should stop the zombies from walking. Can I fall in there? I can't fall in there, nice. Can't fall in there, it's safe. Oh wow, they put it everywhere, look at that. Oh, I thought these things were gonna shoot me. Have they left it open? Oh, you have, how nice. Thank you. Just walk into someone's base and randomly click some buttons, that's... <laughs> perfectly normal. I like, I like how they left everything unlocked. That was very nice of them. Uh, oh, so it's Whitefire that stays in here with uh, with them. Uh, a wizard. Oh, so they got their own rooms. That's cute. Nice. So, oh, they got... Okay, this is very, very, very uh, interesting. I thought this was going to be some sort of mansion with big fancy rooms and stuff. But it looks like a apartment type of thing. So you come into here and they've got like a little kitchen and... You can actually do your cooking on this, by the way, guys. And that as well, you can cook on that. So that's what the, uh, the mod that we've added, the modlet that we've added to the server, you can actually cook on these things, which is kind of nice. This thing, you can actually cook on that thing as well, that's a bit strange. Oh, wow, this is, this is fancy. And they got a little, like, uh, loft. That's interesting. Uh, upstairs, oh, wow, that's, that's a lot. A lot of crates and oh wow they've really done this nicely this is like a proper living base i see you can see they've been busy because all their forges have like been at work this is very nice wizard and white fire or something like that yeah it's looking really really cool i like what you've done i thought this was going to be some sort of mansion but i was was wrong okay let me go up Right to the top. You can see that they were they built themselves a oh, they haven't painted up here. A gyro landing section so they can then land their gyros here, which is pretty cool. That just come here and land it and they can maybe park it on the side here, which is pretty cool. Like this is a little parking for it. Very nice. Good job, I like it. Uh there's a whole series of hotel room hacks that show you what you could cook. Uh, in the coffee pot. Okay. Really? That's interesting. <laughs> I didn't know about that. They got another balcony on this side. Okay. I'm just trying to buy some time so we can then uh, get to the trader. But this is very, very, very well done. I like it. I can imagine it'll work well for Horde now because they got invisible zombie force fields all over the place. They've used all these random blocks as well. Uh, another thing I wanted to see is they do have a horde night burst. Let me close that. There you go. Uh, they do have a horde night base on this end right over here. That's changed quite a bit since. Remember I told you guys they copied this from one of my videos? I was quite happy they did that. Uh, but it, it's got... The, the shape of it has changed quite a bit. And this kind of looks nicer than mine. Kind of. It looks nicer actually. I, I like it. And then you can come along this side as well. You can see that this will work nicely because of... Do these spikes actually work? No, they don't. They just added that for fun then. Okay. Yeah, so they've added these uh, force force fields everywhere. So it can't really get... Uh, can't really come from anywhere else. So the zombies come up to this point and I do think that they... Find, you know, they don't walk across this. Which is kind of cool. Uh, Dean, I may have cooked bacon using a, ho a hotel iron and foil once. That would actually work, wouldn't it? That, that would work. All you need is like something that, that's heated up. I mean, why not? Go for it. If you need to do it, then do it. I suppose you are right. I mean, you can. With a, with a kettle, you can actually cook things. I mean, you could put the food in the kettle and just boil the kettle multiple times. Is that, is that safe? <laughs> I don't think that's safe. Don't do that. Those spikes don't work anymore. Yeah. I think there's a mod that, that, that you can make them work again. Oh, and this base here, this was built by... Uh, uh, Blaster? I think Blaster, right? Am I right? I hope I'm right. Uh, and every time... We come and take a look. He's also changed some things, but I, I was here not so long ago off camera and it was nothing was changed since last time we saw it. However, he's taken this. Oh, this has changed. Look at this. So originally there was a POI here that uh, was in the ground. Basically, it was one of those construction sites 
And he's turned it into like a little bit of a driveway and he's reinforced all the walls. That's really cool. If you go down, you can see he's... That's... that's... It's interesting how people actually come up with these ideas. So he's just combined it. It's made it look so much neater as well. Uh, it did burn. Uh, wait, wait, wait. But not, I feel sorry for whoever used it after me. <laughs> Shame, man. How, how could you do that, Dean? They're going to give you bad, bad, bad uh, client ratings next time you come back. Oh, no, it's him. Hide the, uh, the stoves. What did you use a stove? <laughs> Everybody hide the stoves. Give him the room without the stove. Not the stove, the, the iron, sorry. Uh, most US coffee pots have a heated hot plate to keep the coffee warm as well. Oh, I can see that can be a bit of a problem. People use it for other reasons. Right, mother base, community base. Oh no, there's another one. Oh no, I didn't mean to do that. Oh no, they built another one. So guys, there's a bit of a, like a... Uh, there's a side of certain people that don't really like these bases, these mother bases as they call them. Because it does cause a little bit of a problem in some way. Okay, this one's not so bad. So this is a mother base, like, although the community can come and use it, you know, it's free. Uh, you use the benches at your own risk. That pretty much sums up why these places are not so good. <laughs> That sums it up. That's the problem we have with these mother bases. People just waltz in and they start taking everybody's things. So that's why it's not so good. So yeah, use the workbenches at your own risk. Uh, but yeah, you can see they, they've they left all these boxes. Okay. Uh, don't leave anything running. Uh, please repair anything broken. You can have Horde Knight here. Craft an item. Wait till it's done. Yes. Food and drinks. Do they actually have food and drinks near? They've got two empty glass jars. <laughs> That's actually funny. Someone just comes in. You know what? You know what? You know what? Hang on a second. Hang on a second. I did my service. I gave them glass jars. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, yes. Um, how, uh, how could I do it? Well... Uh, I keep it a secret, but I'm actually a terrible person. Oh, that's okay. Terrible people will go far in life, so it's fine. Okay, um, how do I get out of here? How do I actually get out of here? It's down, isn't it? Yeah, it's this way? Yeah, okay, nice. Yeah, but you can have Horde Knight here yeah, if you want to. Go for a... This actually works, by the way. This works really well for Horde Knight. But, uh, yes. Okay, N another mother base. I like the colors of this one more than like the other one, actually. This one looks nicer. Uh, hi, how's everyone doing? Liam, I'm doing pretty well. I'm so sorry Arge is not here, guys, but we'll just mess around without her for now. She's actually behind me. She's busy with her computer, taking some... Taking it slow, doesn't want to make mistakes, this is good. Uh, white fires, crucible, and drum mag. Oh, wow, you're selling crucibles here. Arge, do we need a crucible? Yes. Yes. Nice. And the drum magazine. By Crucible. Hey, it's Liam's shop! Oh my goodness, this is the worst shop I've seen ever. What's going on? <laughs> what, 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 what's happened here? You know what you could do? You could blame COVID. Rich? Yes. Rich? Oh, she's gonna bang things. Uh, just give me a second guys, my PC is making a noise, we're just looking at it now.
Hey you go, guys, I'm back. Sorry. My PC is just making a slight rattling noise. I think that's one of the fans knocking against something, so if you guys hear it, I apologize. You guys can't hear it, right? I hope, I hope so. Uh, Oh, I've got a crucible. Yeah, what's happening with the shop? I wasn't online for four days or something. Yeah, I didn't put things in it. It's very bad, but you can blame COVID. That's what I was going to try and say, because everyone does that now. You can just say, listen, COVID interrupted my supply. That's why I don't have much. So <laughs> I'm just messing with you, man. Uh, some army equipment. Empty. I mean, at least Liam has a shop. Gemini, what's going on? Uh, steel iron axe. Uh, steel pickaxe. I think I need that. I'm gonna buy that. Okay. I also need to look for my... I need to look for a... Um, a melee weapon to find the zombies nice and close. Yes, you. G Dilly has things nice. Uh, a ratchet, a stun baton. That's not something I'm using. Uh, yeah, I can hear it. It's loud. Just kidding. Yeah, don't. Yeah, don't. Don't mess with me, Adriana. Ban that woman. <laughs> you make me scared. All right, nothing in there. Wait a second. Did you just sell lead? How much lead do you sell in here? Fifty lead. I'm gonna kill you. Who are you? Dax. How dare you sell fifty lead in here? That's terrible. Why would you sell fifty lead? I mean, you could just go down the road and hit a hit a node for fifty lead. I mean. No. <laughs> Sorry guys, I have a problem with lead. Um, stones, okay. Uh, for this is a nice shop. It's nice to have all these things here for everyone to sell. Oh, big z first aid. Now this is a, a shop worth checking out. Uh, he's got a steel axe for very cheap, actually. I'm probably gonna buy that. I'm buying that. That is that is nice. Thank you very much, Bigs. Bigs, Bigs. That's awesome. That was worth it. Uh, that was that was that was good pricing man See his stuff is homemade, which is why it wasn't affected by COVID. so he did it in the time of COVID. so he's fine That's why he's got stuff. You gotta think you gotta think Liam <laughs> uh, Hi, mr. Reach. Hello. How's it going Amanda? How you doing? That is my microphone. You guys can't hear that sound, right? I hope not. <laughs> if, if you can't, if you can't hear it, it's fine. I, I, this is probably waste my time to go check this out, but we'll check it anyway. It's worrying me, but if it doesn't worry you guys, then it's fine. We'll just leave it. We'll leave it do. I can only stream for an hour, so it is what it is. Empty. Of course. Of course these things are empty. Of course. I wonder if the other one's empty. I'm pretty sure both of them. It's, it's kind of a waste of time looking and, and trying to find these things. Um, no sound coming through. Are you talking about the... the okay, okay, that's good. Empty, of course it's empty. <laughs> There's no way those things... I think someone sits... Someone has it on their calendar. I'm telling you now. The exact time and digit uh, to the exact second on when that thing is going to respawn. So he sits there in his base and he stops. He starts his stopwatch and he's like, okay. Now, let's go. You know, and he sits and waits at the box before it respawns. That's what it feels like. <laughs> Something bothering you? Something bothering me, yes. That sound. Okay, restore power, fetch. What restore power? Let's do a fetch. I don't trust you. A bank. Oh, I haven't done a bank in a while. We're doing a, a bank heist. Okay, let's do it. From fan voices. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Thank you. I appreciate it. I was worried about that. What if we could hear it? If you could hear it, then the stream would shut down. No, I'm just kidding. I'll just. You guys just have to deal with it, but yeah. Lots of people coming through the trailer, so it might not even reset. <laughs> yes. 
But it feels like that's what it is, though. Amanda, when will RJ be back up and running? She's actually currently on the floor. <laughs> oh my gosh. She's on the floor. You can't see her. She's behind the microphone. She's actually still building his P her PC. Not his PC. Her PC. And it's it's taking a while, but she's getting there. PC. She's got her, all her new parts. Thanks all the donations you guys did for it. Uh, yeah, she's just setting it up. She. I got a new PC case. I posted it on Twitter and on, on Discord if you want to take a look at it. And I'm very happy with it. It looks very nice. It, it was, it's not the most functional, like, okay, it's it's an okay case. It's just not, um, when setting it up was a pain in the, in the bum because there was just weird design flaws. But I guess that's what you get for buying South African equipment. But anyway, or well, South African homemade stuff, made stuff, whatever. Jeez, that was one shot. Die, you evil scum. Yeah, so RJ is here and she can hear everything I say, so we can't speak about her tonight, I'm afraid. I mean, every other night we can do it, but we can't do it tonight. It's just out of the question. Amanda, I was heartbroken for her about her PC. I know it, when things die on it. You know what, guys? I will be honest. In, in, in a lot of ways, when her PC broke, I wasn't too upset. Because I know how the community is, especially towards RJ, our community. I know, and I knew it, people would have made donations. I, I, I knew it. I just knew it. So RJ was very upset. She was wondering how we're going to be able to get a new PC because we obviously... We've kind of met our quota for the month. We've spent everything that we should be spending. And I told her, listen, don't worry. You know, I'm pretty sure there will be someone out there who will come out. Even though I did announce people not to do it, they still did it. Um, I never wanted people to do it. I, I would have eventually gotten a chance to get her new stuff, but people just did it. And I think that's also a nice thing. And RJ is very happy about that. She thinks she's more happy about the fact that people helped her so quickly on than anything but it's nice to know that we have a community like this that that's behind each other and it's just nice it's just really 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 great i mean even for me i think if my pc just decides to blow up one day i, I think a lot of you guys here have my back with it and you know when it comes time to pcs and stuff it's like pc with no content you know so that's that's kind of how it is <laughs> And I don't think it's too expensive as well, like for, you know, Americans and stuff to make donations to us for PC parts. Because I think ours is, wait, I think ours is more expensive, I think, because of import fees or something. Uh, who live action reach? No, that's on my OnlyFans account, which you can find in the description of this, this stream. Uh, please be easy on me. That's my first 20th video on there. That is a joke, don't, don't even try that. Uh, COVID DIY computer cases. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm not a fan of South African made stuff, especially when they put their name on it. Like, I'm not a fan of that. I mean, I will put a, a Razer brand on my PC case, no problem if there was. Um, no problem with that. But as soon as it's like, South African brand. Um, I know I should be supporting them, but I don't know. If it comes out too, too great. Okay, just trying to make sure I haven't missed anything. Always miss the trash cans, because you know, you get things like a lead fishing weight, which is a waste of time, because you could just go outside and knock a thing. Um, just knock a thing for lead, I mean, really. You get more out of that than anything. Um, you were a big hate on the free backpack. <laughs> oh, shush. I, it's a free backpack. I saw Bark. Hey, how's it going? Welcome. Yeah. Big hate. Big hate. <laughs> Flip. You know, nothing is free. 
All right, nothing is free. It, it says it's free, but how much you want to bet they just included that in the price originally, and they say, hey, yeah, it's free. Nothing is free. Unless you sign up to something, it's just nothing is free. It's always got a catch to it. I think I'll take that junk. Why not? So even when you go to the shop and they say buy two for one. Uh uh. I, I don't get tricked into that because I I think that's uh I think that's a uh that's fake. I think the original price that they paid for was low for the one thing. I, I think that's a trap. And you know everyone's like, oh it's such a good good special, buy two for this amount of money. I'm like, mm-mm. -mm. I got that pickaxe. Let's, let's knock this. I got, I got no um, lock picks on me. Uh, I've been working on building a shop by trade. Bob about one k from uh, Trader Starting Town. Oh, you're building your own shop? That's cool. Like along the road or something. Okay, uh, silver nugget and bullets, yes, I could use that. I've buy one, get one, but with buying five minimum, yeah. I don't know if I believe in that stuff too much, like buy one, get one free, it's just, or, or yeah, okay, buy one, get one free is a good, is, is I think is, is a good, uh, a good deal, but buy one and, you know, buy two for this price, I think that's trap. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Gotta find the supplies. They are upstairs. I almost walked away from that. I'm talking too much. Let's focus a little bit. And I still need to find the end game loot. This is on this floor somewhere. I think it's along this side. Ha! Uh oh. Uh -oh. Hi. Hi. Bye. Well, these windows are so nice. Look at that. That looks so cool. Um, it's always down. I think it's. Uh, it can't be up because it's showing it. Yeah, it's on that floor. But I think I gotta go up to go down. Let's see. I go this side. Yeah, figured. Thank you very much. Get some coins. I was worried about those zombies. Thank you, Amanda. Welcome. That's awesome. That's fantastic of you. Welcome as a new member. You should join our Discord and get to know us. Get to know the community. You're always welcome. Just hop on Discord. Ask one of the moderators to give you roles so you get access to all the, uh, the fancy stuff. Well worth your time. Some really good people on there. Thank you, Amanda. Jeez, that was close. Almost got whacked in the face by Bob here. Oh, I hear a bike outside. How does he know where I am? Oh, I wonder how he knows. I wonder how he knew I was here this whole time. It's a really big POI. Okay, I'm out of here. There's a mutated zombie in here, really? Is that a thing? I thought that was only like a wasteland. Not good, I don't think. I think it's time to use the gun. There you go. Uh, the new, the new mem member music jams. It's not new, it's always been there. I've never changed that. I haven't changed that in like months. I still hear something walking around. I think it's that guy upstairs. He's probably my, my Amazon delivery. I told the guy. I told the guy to follow me around. So my Amazon delivery is probably here. I just it's fine. They're pretty they they're pretty decent, you know, when they try and drop some stuff off. I mean they really hunt you down. You, as you can hear his footsteps upstairs. He's literally looking for me. And it's amazing how Amazon um 
you know, they're still operating in the zombie apocalypse. It's it's amazing. I mean, they really, really are something else, aren't they? I mean, you can hear their footsteps outside. Yeah, he's really determined to give me his, give me my supplies. It's really nice. Jeez, zombie! If I took an arrow to the head, I'll be dead. Oh my goodness! Take a shovel. Get shoved. Wow, we're not dying from that. Music for the new members. No RJ build cam. No, RJ did not. You know, it's very, it takes us a long time to do that stuff. I mean, we, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That's a lot of zombies. That is a lot of zombies. But don't fear, I've got Molotovs. Yes, the problem with RJ build cams is that you can see a lot of revealing bum shots. And it's even distracting for me. Because, you know, RJ bends down, gets the screw, and then... That came out horrible. I I'm so sorry. I mean, the actual screw. I I'm talking about the screw that drops on the floor. She picks it up. That's what I'm talking about. Oh my goodness, you sick bastards. That's what you're all thinking about. Ugh. This looks like a trap. But yeah, no, it's uh, very distracting for, for some. I, I would believe it would be distracting. If it's distracting for me, then it's really distracting for me. For you. Uh, yeah, so... My Amazon delivery is, is kind of lost. Just turn on my tracker. <laughs> it came out terrible. I'm so sorry. That's not what I meant. I'm not. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Whatever. No, that that thing I said, RJ. No, no, no. It came out horrible. They're all laughing. It's, they think it's funny. It's not funny. It's 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 bad. No, it's bloody hilarious. I don't hear you laughing, RJ. Just keep quiet. Just keep building your thing. Stop being a bully. <laughs> Is that really a problem in quotes? Yeah, that's funny. Hey, man, got any tips for a day 700 horde base? That's very difficult to tell. I've got lots of videos you can check out. You can check those out, but I can't. I, I, I wouldn't imagine where to start. You just got demolished by the bomber zombies. Don't shoot their pee pee thingy. It's the only thing you're gonna be able to do. I just scrapped that. Didn't mean to do that. Okay. I think I can use this as an axe, right? Does it work as- I think it- I can hear my take a lot. My, not, I mean my Amazon delivery upstairs. Uh, take a lot is the South African version of Amazon basically, but it's just a lot less. What do you got there? Are there snacks? Uh, wow. This stream went rated R fast. I know. <laughs> oh, it just goes outside. I don't want to go outside. Let's look at all my packages in there. Hang on a second. Let's go back this way. Let's go this way. I think I've looted most. Hang on. These things I haven't touched. Is there anything worth? Yeah, you get books in these things, right? It's kind of a nice POI to actually loot. There's quite a bit in here. Although I don't know who sticks a big bag of guns in the bank. Security, maybe. I still hear the Amazon guy upstairs. He <laughs> could just... Tick, 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 tick. Does this work? Has an axe, yes. Up we go. Gotta go up. Gotta go up. It's on the... It is on... Boom! This floor here. So we'll have to go back the way we came. Grab your package. Yeah, I'm gonna get it. Don't worry, I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. It is on this floor. This one, yeah. So we gotta look around. Take a look around. I think it is behind. How the... 
How the... How did you do that? Oh my goodness, what? No! Probably from the other side. How is this possible? Oh, oh what? What? Guys, how is this possible? They put it behind this thing? I'm not gonna sit and break it. Surely you can get it from the other side though. Oh, what? What? I'm trying, I'm trying to hit that just now. Okay. We'll just leave that as it is. Oh, there's my Amazon delivery! Hi! Hey! Thank you! That's awesome! That's exactly what I ordered on Amazon. It took, it took a hell of a long time. Very upset about the service that we've been getting here. Um, is this something that you can do? Can I speak to your manager, please? Yes. Oh, it's me. Hi, me. Yeah, is, is that... <laughs> thank you. Uh, thank you very much. You can't hear me, game. See, my Amazon Amazon came eventually. I ordered the Express, where the guy follows you around with a, with a crossbow. If you don't take it, well... <laughs> oh, does he leave his... He left his... Okay, I just fixed it by mistake. You know what, guys? I actually walked here. I actually had a bicycle, but it's fine. I just... It's good for me. You were hitting the frame. Yeah, I figured. I figured. Sam with a SAR25 donation. Thank you so much, man. High five! Everybody give Sam a good thumbs up in the chat. That's awesome of you. Uh, Amanda, Sam, and uh, what's he doing? What's he doing? Yeah, so it's Amanda, Sam, and I think it was Gav that did the donations tonight. Appreciate. It. Oh, and Ivan also as well. Um. Guys, my Amazon guy just doesn't want to doesn't want to leave me alone. I, and now he's telling me to get in his in his motorbike. I'm really concerned about this. Take it for a spin. Okay, I'll go around the block. Okay, we'll go around the block. We'll take it for a spin. Wow, this thing is <laughs> wow. Okay, the Fast and Furious, Mr. Amazon guy. Yeah, this is one of the, the, the bikes that uh, you can get. Wow, this thing's actually really, really nice to control. Usually usually the other ones spin out of control when you go around a corner like that. Use the horn. Oh my goodness, press the wrong button. It's the sound of a screamer. Yeah, I know. I've seen these vehicles before. <laughs> this thing does a speed wobble. <laughs> Whoa! Imagine, where, where did the Amazon guy go? Hey! Where'd he go? He disappeared! Take it for a spin, he never came back! <laughs> oh, these people here, look at that! There's this other, other Amazon people? Press F. Who's this guy? Yeah, take your bike back, there you go, thank you. Th thank you for the ride! That freaked me out so bad the first time. You thought it was a screamer. Uh, Mike the Milkman, hey. See, we got the Milkman here, we got the Amazon guy here, everybody's here, that's awesome. Thank you so much for the like, I appreciate it. Welcome to the channel if you haven't, or if you are new. Okay, where did I pick up these Jacko lanterns from? Amazon guy is following me around. I'm a bit concerned. Is he, is he coming in? Oh my goodness, he's really are. Oh, he really is following me, isn't he? We gotta hide. And you are. What if he knows I'm in here? But he wouldn't just walk in here. This is the toilet, right? I mean, I am, I am busy. I mean, you should knock before you walk in. I wonder if I throw him with a Molotov, would it damage him in the trader? Will it? I don't think so, will it? 
Did I burn the Amazon guy? Don't come in here unzipped. But not great. Uh, I gave you pumpkins uh, to your stream as a delay. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the pumpkins. Appreciate it. I don't know why the Amazon guy gave me pumpkins with f scary faces on them. It's okay. Fetch and clear. I want to do a buried supplies. I like the buried supplies. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, I got squeal uh, with the bike on. Oh, yeah, he scared him. Yeah, I, I, squeal feels like that type of person who gets scared with the a horn like that. <laughs> oh, thank God the Amazon guy is gone. I was getting a bit worried there. Okay, buried supplies. Always in the same spot. Interesting. It's nice to see the area looking a little bit better. I suppose all the trees are being chopped up there. You can see literally someone's gone up the hill. Who's this? Someone's gone up the hill to chop the trees. Who's this? Hey, Liam! Did you update your shop? I'm gonna go see the shop. If he hasn't done it. If he hasn't done it. He's gonna get the arrow up his ass. If he hasn't updated the shop. I saw him there just now. I hope he's upgraded his shop. Hope, hope you have, Liam. I'm on my way there now. I'm going to buy some things. And, and I didn't see him wearing a mask, so he can't blame the COVID situation now. Come on. Oh, there's the Amazon guy. I wonder if he did it. I, I'd be so funny if he did it. <laughs> <laughs> he actually did it. After mentioning in the stream, he went and up upgraded his shop. <laughs> you know, just for that, man, I'm buying your steaks. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, that's so much better, man. Good job. You upgraded your shop. There you go. I bought a steak. He made some cash from me. There you go. I'm a, I'm a happy customer now. I got my steak and... What is that? Steak and... Uh, steak and potato meal. Yeah, there you go. Happy customer. Uh, yeah, he was... Build, he was busy building, so I parked up where he couldn't see me and watch him... Spin in circles till he saw me. <laughs> I used to look for that thing forever. I wish I could, I wish I could like, you know, in admin, spawn in a screamer and let the screamer uh, scream for more zombies. But the problem with the spawned in screamers is that they don't, uh, when they scream, they don't spawn in the zombies. So if you ever have a, a screamer that is at your base and screams and zombies don't spawn, you know it's me because... Uh, yeah, you can't actually do that. Reach? Yes. Oh, look at that! Sean? I don't know, we just say Sean. Okay, Sean, thank you so much for the $20 donation, man. You're awesome. RJ just showed me now. That's amazing. I appreciate that. Everybody give Sean a thumbs up in the chat. Good stuff. Fast Stepper, gotta go have a have a good stream. Thank you, Fast Stepper. I mean, maybe you should say uh, maybe you should say thank you, RJ. Thank you. Yeah, we want to hear RJ's voice. I mean, that's why you did the donation. You just wanted to hear RJ say something. Come on, be real. <laughs> Wait, do I have points? I do. Well, considering. Yeah. Liam, good night, everyone. Liam, good job updating your shop, buddy. It's looking so much better. Nice to see things improving. Uh, I've been playing this for years. Never played PvP, though. Uh, I could try. I've played PvP in the beginning, like, from, like, you know, during Alpha 16, 15, 14. Uh, even way back in, like, 7 and stuff, I played PvP. Uh, I owned a PvP server in my country. South Africa, I used to have a, a, a server that was the most popular in South Africa. All the South Africans used to play on my 7 x Die server. Hosted it for years. Did some modding on it. Did all sorts of different types of things. And um, yeah, just died off. I mean, they didn't really respect it too much. I mean, they didn't even offer to help pay for it or nothing. You know, I spent so much money on that server and no one really cared too much. So it just went down. 
Uh, and lo most of those things are just PvP. Uh, I, 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 it, Seven Days Die has gotten worse with its uh, networking, I would say. So when you're running around, your, your character's rubber banding. It's so untidy and, and so... What was that noise, RJ? It sounded like a fart. Jericho! Did a $5 donation and said RJ. Aww. Hi, RJ. Thank you very much, Jerrica. Oh, by the way, hello, Fly Girl. How are you doing? And Dante, hello. I always seem to not say hello to you, and I'm sorry. Hope you, I hope you two are doing well. You can see how much nicer the server performs with less players on. Seven players, it's just perfect. Well, it's not perfect, it has its flaws. But it's it's definitely better. Mm. Okay, dig away. We don't have RJ's lucky hands yet, so... We're not gonna find it as quick as RJ does. So, there was someone's base that they wanted to show me. They wanted to show me in the wasteland, I think it was. Yeah, Lajaro, right? He wants me to go and take a look at his base. We can go if you guys want. It's a bit of a tr trip. I mean, it's going to go through the wasteland. I'm going to die, probably. But if we just go and don't stop, it might be okay. Uh, it never bothers me, bro. Well, it's still nice to say hello. It's also... You know what it is, and I, I noticed RJ doing it as well. I do it all the time. Because Fly Girl and Dante's color is blue and it has that thing, that little spanner next to its name, it always automatically makes me think when I look at the chats and I see the color blue in that thing, I always think it's the bot going off, so I ignore it. Because I know the bot is just a bot that lets you guys know things, right? So when I see those colors, I'm like, okay, it's just the bot. Go to the next one, you know. So it's, it's that's what happens. Sebastian, hey, how's it? It's been a while since we've seen you, Sebastian. I hope you're doing well. How's it? That's a South African thing. Yeah. How's it? You can't get inside unless you use guard mode. It's all locked. I'll use guard mode to get in your base. As long as you give me permission, I'll do it. I'll go inside. I'll take a look. I will... Poop in your bed. Pee in your bed. Leave one big poo there. And you know what I'll do? <laughs> I'll put it inside your pillow, so only like when you're sleeping through the night, it'll... It'll squish in your... <laughs> That's horrible. I'm so sorry. <laughs> uh, yes, good things. Hope you're doing been well. I've been okay. Yeah. I've been very tired lately, I'll be honest. So the content has been a little bit slow. And I, I apologize for that. It's just is what it is. and I think it's coffee that makes me more tired, though. The more coffee I drink, the more tired I'm going to be. And it makes it worse because then you just want to drink more coffee because you're tired. But then you drink more coffee and it makes it worse because you get tired. So it's... I think coffee's really bad. But I love it. Jeez, only two zombies. It's like... Uh, the UK's all right. Ah, flip! I know what he's doing. It's that little thing between me and Kane. Oh yes. Get me a zombie. Oh, headshot. Yes, exactly, flip. Okay, I suck. Come on, turn around. 
There you go. Not one shot. The two zombies were one shot. Now you are what? Two shots. Okay. Uh, Lurching still bad by your reach. We get it about twice a day. So the power will go, go twice a day. So it's going to go off in... Oh wow, 30 minutes. Jeez, time's going fast. So my power goes off in 30 minutes, guys. So we head back to the trader, hand the stuff in. How do you make back some of my coins? And then head back to base because I've got quite a bit of stuff over there. I need to sell that as well. I always forget to sell things. Mine's coming back in 30 minutes. Yeah, so, so Sebastian's got like you know, the other way around. So he's got the different times scheduled to mine. So when mine goes off, his goes back on. Because uh, it, it doesn't really matter where you are in the country. It's just all, it's timed like that. So yeah, Sebastian comes on at 30 minutes, mine goes off. But it, it doesn't actually affect me too much now because I've got the inverter. You'll notice when my power goes off, you won't even notice anything. Um, I'll still be on, online. I'll still be live streaming. I, I'll just have to log off the game simply because of my... Inverter can't handle the game. Uh, well, it can, but it will die. My battery will die too quickly, and then I'll be in the dark. So, yeah. How long power out? So it's from two. Uh, sorry, from, it's from twelve to two in the morning. It's usually two hours every interval. So. Um, I think, yeah, from, so t today in the day, it was from, it's 12 from 2, right? Yes. Yeah, so we had in the day 12 to 2, was it? Uh, 12, uh, 2 to 4. 2 to 4, sorry. We had 2 to 4 today, uh, no power. And then tonight is uh, 12 to 2. And then tomorrow will probably be in the midday somewhere again. So, yeah, we'll probably have that. I'm just taking a look at someone's bridge. I saw this last time, but they never completed it. Yeah, same. And inverter helps, but need to look after batteries. Uh, no kettles. Yeah, you can't use you can't use a kettle on an inverter. You can need a flipping strong um, inverter to do that. I'm thinking about getting a full system I I inverter system, but it's 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 very expensive. But maybe we can do like a GoFundMe or something and get that system because if we can get that system. That means streams won't be interrupted. I'll be able to stream with that system. I'll be able to do as I do here. Play my games, do live, and RJ will be able to do that as well. At the same time, but we need a really good system. It's a, it'll be like a 5,000 watt system um, inverter plugged into the electricity and stuff. So. And the electricity comes back and it charges it. And I think they do replacements of batteries and all that. So when they do die or they sell cycles. Uh, well, that's, well, that's the times. Yeah, it happens. It's, uh, Shelby, wait, why does the power go off? Shelby? The, like, in South Africa, there's a bit of a problem. All right. Our power grid is failing very badly because I, I, well, it could be your opinion or what. There's the Amazon guy. Um, Something you want to buy whatever it is, trade. but I think that a lot of us agree with the fact that it's the corruption that's caused the problem. So the corruption in the country has completely stuffed up the electricity, power stations. And now there's just not enough power for the country. And so what happens now is they will cut off sections of the country uh, and then different suburbs will go off at different times. You just gave me something. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. And then that's basically it. You know, that's what that's what it is. So every suburb will have from have no power for two hours, and the next suburb will be two hours. Next suburb will be two hours. I will just come off and go on. Come off, go on. And it's just getting worse. So we have different stages of what 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 we call in South Africa load shedding. That's what it's called. So if you ever hear that word, you know what it is. Google it. You'll you'll see what it is. So you get stage one, stage two, stage three, stage four, stage five, stage six. We were at stage six not too long ago, but now we're back to stage five. 
uh, which is not so good. I mean, some people get it five times a day, which is about eight hours of no electricity, I think. Some of the heavily built suburbs. Uh, and even like there's one or two hospitals that I know as well go off. Uh, I think there's the hospitals. Um, they got like some power for like the really, really intense cases. But everything else goes off. All the lights and the hospital, everything goes off, which is very bad. Some some fancy hospitals, you know, of course they stay up. You know, they're not going to go down. It's the private ones. So that's what's happening right now. It, it, it's it's failing. Take a number. You ever watch that movie? Uh, if you guys ever seen the movie The City of Ember, you guys ever seen that movie? Uh, uh, one of the best movies I've seen. It's more like a kids movie, but I, I watched it when I was smaller. So. But that whole movie, City of Amber, reminds me of what's actually happening here in South Africa. Because in City of Amber, they're running out of, well, their, their power stations are breaking. They've got no one to fix it. Uh, and no one wants to find the way out. They would just rather sit there and try to fix the problem. You know? You guys seen that movie? That's a brilliant movie. That's a brilliant I I illustration of South Africa, I think. Well, I didn't even know that was happening there. How long has it been an issue? I think since 2010. 2010, the year 2010, it's gotten worse over the time. So 2010 it started. Yeah, so City of Ember, Adriana, is exactly how South Africa feels right now, you know? Because the power, the power is just like holding on with its pure life. 10 years, shall Yeah, it's about 10 years now. Is it more? I think it's, I think it's about 10 years. Maybe 11, 10 years. Not sure. I don't keep track. I just live my life the best I can. It's frustrating. Uh, I love that movie. A kid's steampunk dystopian world. It's awesome. That's such a good movie. I actually wish there was another one. Uh, the, the next part of that movie where they were outside. Maybe that would be pretty cool. Where she threw the note down. That was such a good movie. It really was. I, I love the actor as well. She's, uh, she's a nice actor. I like that actor. Call it a crush, if you will. <laughs> I gave you a good shovel. Uh, yeah, thank you. You gave me a steel shovel. How? A level six. You are very nice. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. So now a lot of South Africans, they resort to inverters. Solar panels is a little bit more of an expensive option. Uh, hello. Who's this? Axie. Oh, it's a taxi. Okay. Does he know where I'm going? Oh, I just fixed it. Oh, you buggers, man. I just fueled it. <laughs> I fixed it. I fueled it. I can't get in. I'll walk, man. I'm okay. I'll walk. Okay, I can jump on the top, maybe? There you go, it's not far, it's like, it's like 80 here, wait. It's like right here. It's, yeah, so I'm here already, so, yeah. Sorry! Oh, there's a zombie there, look at that. So I have an inverter, it's a 1000 watt inverter. It's got one battery in it. I will have to replace the battery after a while. That's okay. But I, I do want to get a proper system installed in my house because when I bought the inverter, I never owned my own house. But now I own my own house, I can do some, do some more. Uh, so the system I want to buy is very expensive. It's like, geez, it's it's a thousand dollars or something crazy. I, I'm not sure. I can't remember, but it might be worth it in the long run because it's like a permanent system. It's nice. Wait, did I just? I'm following the red marker here. <laughs> bye bye, Amazon guy. I'm gonna hide away from this guy. See if he can find me. I, I feel like Asmund Gold from World of Warcraft, where all his players follow him around. <laughs> <laughs> you went to the house, run, run! 
Okay. I think he's gone inside. I'm okay. We're okay. <laughs> oh, he found me! <coughs> he's he's um, probably watching my stream. Oh, I've done this house so many times. It's over it. Okay. Oh. Okay, we just go down. I need to grab this stuff as well. May as well while I'm here. I was supposed to go back to base, but I wanted to do some more missions. Uh, what do you guys do in your free time doing power outages? RJ watches on her cell phone and I, I watch my PC because my PC runs. I, I will sit and watch a movie or something on Netflix. I think maybe I will watch the third episode of The Ring of Power maybe, but it's... Yeah, I've been watching that new Lord of the Rings, Ring of Power thing, so maybe I'll watch that after the stream. Uh, I saw Buggy, yeah, I'm watching. I know you're watching. It's okay, man. It's good seeing you. I like your, I like your clothes, man. Looking sexy there. Okay, let's not throw the pumpkins away. That was given to me. Let me throw some other things that I don't need on me. Here, like these. One egg. Jeez, what am I going to do with that? Alright, uh. That's fine. Uh, I just got off the game with, what, three of on, just experienced multiple glitches where uh, characters kept falling off the map, had to leave the game. Uh, you're talking about my server. Rings of Power is keeping a lot of Welsh actors in work, almost as many as The, the Witcher. Oh, I, I don't know anything about that, I just watched it. That's interesting. Why? Why is that though? Because of its where 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 it's filmed. The one. Where is the new Ring of Power filmed, by the way? I mean, it's very pretty. It's like I think I have to say it. I think that the new Ring of Power is the best thing I've ever seen. Like visually, it is amazingly, amazing, amazingly pretty. Pretty, the graphical artwork in that is insanely good. You can see where all the money went into. It is, it is amazing. I, I wish, I hope our future movies look like that because it was, it, it looked insane. The, the, the series is okay. I'm enjoying it. It's fine. I don't have a problem with it. I know there's a lot of controversial stuff going on about it. I'm enjoying it. It's it's okay, you know. It's cool. I'll watch it. I like it. I love fantasy stuff. Anything that's got to do with fantasy, um, or mythical, or monsters and creatures. The Witcher. I watch that as well. And I've never played any of the Witcher games. Uh, okay, I have, but I, I never I never liked them. I, I'm sorry. Gonna hurt some people's feelings here. I never liked them. I tried. I tried hard, but I just never really got into it. Maybe it was the wrong time. Maybe I was into something else or something. Uh, but yeah, I, I tried. But I, I enjoyed the series. It's pretty good. Just had a nice Undead Legacy play session starting with the worst prepared built horde base. Nice. Nice, yeah, Undead Legacy is tough, eh? It really is tough. What are your favorite... What would you say your favorite weapons are on Civilization Night? Molotovs, I like Molotovs. Uh, for melee combat... I don't know, it's just... It is what it is, like, I just... I just used what I feel like at the time. I don't have anything favorite in particular. There's a zombie in there. It's funny, because I'm actually using the, the Molotovs as a light source right now. He didn't die from that. Uh, it's filmed mainly in the UK and Wales, where I'm from, has given the world many, um, the world many amazing actors. But fantasy and sci-fi shows are 
using Welsh actors a lot more these days. Oh, okay. Well, I that's good. You know, it's another thing I, I can't really... If there's, like, South African actors, there's not many of them. But when they are in movies and stuff, I cannot watch it. I just cannot stand it. It feels like sometimes they overact. Like, in, 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 my, in my eyes. That's how I see it. Like, I'll, I'll look at a, a South African actor, I'm like, oh my goodness, that's horrible. You know, it's just not something I like to watch. There's only one South African actor that I actually like to watch. It's the guy from District 9. It's the main guy from District 9. Uh, he's pretty good. I like him. He's okay, you know, it's nice. Then there is, uh... Yeah, it's just him. He played in... There was a first person movie that he played in. Oh, okay. It's here. Is this, is this? District Nine, bam. Yeah, that the, the guy from District Nine, uh, the main the main guy, he was decent. He was okay. I, I liked him. Cool movie. It is a cool movie. Yes. Although, I will be honest, it feels like it feels a very strange movie. I don't know if I want to bring it up. Because it might be racist, but it just feels that way. The way it was portrayed, it was like... I'll explain it how I feel that way, and you guys can be the judge of it. There's a lot of zombies right now as well, so... Let me explain that movie to you guys for a second. Here in South Africa... I would say 90% of the people in South Africa are mostly black people. Then there's the, the Indians, and then there's the, the coloreds, and there's the white people. You know, it, it's, there's a lot more of them than, than anything, okay? A lot. But, so the chances of them, you know, them living in, the, in that type of state is, is higher because there's more of them. So, you know, in that in District 9 where the, alien, the aliens were living in shacks, they were living in a really bad state. A lot of the major townships in South Africa that a lot of these, these uh, black people live in uh, is exactly the way the aliens were living. Do you, do you see what, I, what, I, what, I, what, I'm, what I'm trying to get at here? So, I don't know what they were trying to do, but... The way the aliens were living is the way they are, the, our, our, our mostly black side actually lives. There are actually a couple of white people that I know live like that as well. Um, how they live in some areas, some of the areas are really bad like that, how the aliens were living. And eating cat food, I don't know what that was about, but yeah, it's, it's, it just feels a bit weird how they portray the aliens living the way they live. I don't know, is that racist? don't know. Chappie was very much like that as well. Chappie was okay. I don't like the Antwoord. That put me off that movie. Chappie was the actor who played District 9, I think, right? I think he was okay. Decent. The movie was decent. There was also another movie called Asylum. He acted in that movie as well with, I don't know what the other actor was. There was another movie called Asylum. Uh, I found Undead Legacy thanks to your content. I even managed to get my dad playing with me. And when he saw your gas station horde night video as well as a sub quick, uh, the creator, I wanted to say thank you. Shadow, that's okay. I, I really like Undead Legacy. It's a good mod. And I've even spoken to Subquake, which is the guy who made Undead Legacy. And he's a great guy. He's a very nice, chill, relaxed guy. I got, got along well with him in my chats. You know, he spoke to me, he told me a couple of things. Um, yeah, he's a nice guy. Really, uh, really, really, really good mod to be playing. Very nice. Find white river supplies that I'm so full with things. 
Can't carry a lot of the things as well. Just munch on that. Well, since we're talking about Under Legacy, I'm going to be announcing to the Patreons that, because you see the Patreons on our channel, they get access to all our service, everything we do. And you guys know why there is a, um, well, I'll mention again, because there's a paywall. It's a $1 paywall to get on our service. It's simply because of the trolls. The trolls are insanely bad when there's no paywall on something. So we're actually going to be releasing an Undead Legacy server. That's, that's something that some of people have asked. And that's something we're probably going to do. I'm going to go downstairs. There you go. So that's something that... It's going to happen, hopefully soon. What, what is down there? Is that water? Oh, it's just carpet. There you go. So my supplies... Are there! Haha! -ha. All this time. Okay, guys. I am going to go back to base. Not going to return to the trader just yet because I'm so full. I need to drop some stuff off. How do I get out of here? I've forgotten. Ah. Oh, this is not a really good way to go out. <laughs> Whoopsie! But it's not under legacy, which means I can just make some frames and then get out of here. Uh, oh my goodness, there's stuck in a space here. I'm going to throw that out. Uh, ha -ha. Ha -ha. Ha -ha. Ha -ha. Oh my goodness, I hate this POI. I got out of here. Uh, you can see Steel in the chat. When is the server going to be released? I'm so excited. Oh, no. The Undead, the undead Legacy server, yeah. This server's going to stay, guys. We're not shutting this one down. Just don't worry too much. This one's staying. and Nothing's going to be changed with this one. We do want to add the mods we said that we wanted to add. That's not something we're letting go, guys. We're just waiting for some information with that. So don't worry about the mod. It's coming. How's RJ's build coming along? RJ is doing cable management. So she's actually been, if you guys don't know if you're just joining in, RJ's here. They can't see you because the mic's in the way. But yeah, she's on the floor. Cold. I think it's really Apparently awesome. cold. And she's busy building her PC. She wanted to stream with me tonight, guys, but sadly she had to get that done first. And it is what it is. It is okay. We'll wait. We will. RJ says she's definitely streaming tomorrow night, right? Yes. So if you don't, we can all come to you and pitchfork? You, you can do that. Okay. Uh, Stan says, Hi Mr. Rich, how are you? So has RJ put her computer together? Yeah, well, I've just mentioned that she's behind me. She's busy building it. Uh, I thought your room was always warm. Uh, no, not tonight. There's, there's been snow on the mountains. Uh, there's been snow on the mountains, so the, the cold air is blowing down from the mountains and it's making it really, really cold. It's been really cold. Last night was ice cold, and um, I think the night before was also really cold. It was very cold. And I don't understand it because the temperature was only showing 13 Celsius, but I swear to you now, it's been 13 Celsius before and I haven't been cold. But it was so cold last night. It was like really, I was shivering. I had to take a bath. But it's 13 Celsius, doesn't seem right. But it was very cold. I, I, um, I hate cable management, says it. No, yes. You know, the thing I hate about cable management is the, uh, is the, like, you know, when you, when you got it on your, your, your wall. So my PC's there now, but my cables run down the back. Oh. Guys, I don't know. I, I, I need to find a thing uh, that connects a thing to the thing that hides cables or what something. Thing? That thing. What thing? That thing. What thing? That thing. What thing? Shut up, RJ. Do you have to do it? Stop fucking. Dice loading. Dice loading. Jeez, RJ is just horrible. This is my room. RJ, is there anything more enjoyable than building a PC? No. No, her back is sore. Doing what? Doing 
minus one, but not two. Don't go towards the flag. What flag? I'm going to base. But yeah, I see what you mean. No, wait. No, wait. Base is there. Yeah, I always go towards the flag for some reason. There's the base over there. Thank you. Ah, no, keep going. It's his base. You know what, Lajaro, before... Actually, we're running out of time, guys. We've got like five minutes before the power goes off, so I won't be able to do what I want to do. Maybe we can quickly do it. I get back to base, drop some stuff off, and we'll just, like, teleport to Lajaro's base and take a look what we got there. But I don't think we're running out of time. You can still carry on streaming, like, vlogging. I can... Yeah, I can chat with you guys. You guys want me to chat with you guys for a bit after this. We can do that. We can have a chat. And you can see RJ building some things down below. Whoopsie, my bad. Didn't see you there. Uh, a bubble bath. Picks exclusively available on OnlyFans. That's right, Flip. But you shouldn't be letting people know that. Now, should you? That's a breach of contract. Uh, reach in a bubble bath with pics. Oh, no. My inbox is going to be spammed with feet pics. Why feet pics, though, in a bath? You know, is that your thing? Is that something that uh, you enjoy? And yes, guys, I have happened to buy myself a house with a affiliatively really small bath. Which means two people can't fit in the bath, and don't ask me how I know that. How do you know that? Uh, yeah, Arja, I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> you know, shame, Arja's been through a lot of work today, guys. Because she did my PC as well, and she's doing her PC, so I feel bad that she's... But at least she can sit there and relax. I'm doing the stream, she doesn't have to worry about the stream. Yeah, well, you can sit and I'll do the stream. It's gonna be fine. Nail clippers? Draw. I'll get it for you. So, RG uses nail clippers to cut the zip ties. So, you know when you zip tie your cable management, it just cuts with the nail clippers. It works nicely. Better than the scissors. Uh, don't have to ask. We have our imaginations. Which is just as bad as giving you the truth, I guess. Uh, feet and head are the only things that stick out the bubble. <laughs> See, the imaginations are, 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 are just as bad as the truth, mice. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't even have a bath. Shower. Um, couple of years. Bath, never. Guys, I like a bath, okay? So... I, I do a lot more showering, I've noticed, because it's easier and it's quicker. However, when it's ice cold and it's boiling, uh, sorry, not boiling, when it's ice cold and you're freezing and things are a lot smaller than they're supposed to be. Really? Yes. <laughs> like your fingers, you know, they shrink when you get cold. You know what I was talking about, guys, come on. Um, yeah, so you just want to have a nice bath, you know, you want to sit back, you want to relax. I know a lot of people don't really like bathing because it's disgusting, you, you're kind of soaking in your own stuff. Um, your own dirt. But a bath is nice just to relax a bit. It is nice just to relax, you know. Like, a shower is nice and easy and quicker. Alright guys, let's quickly go to Lajaro's base. I'm going to teleport there because I don't have much time. My, my power's going off almost well, soon. But my guard mode is on, so nothing should kill me. Oh, yes, I know what this is. This looks identical. How did he do that? That is identical. How did he make it? Uh, guys, we made this base. This is our base. Yeah, I'm looking at it now. What is this? It's the lockdown? This is the lockdown bunker, yes. You guys remember this this video we did? We made a lock... <gasps> what? Oh, my gosh. No. No. What? It's identical. It is No, this is different. <laughs> okay. okay the, the downstairs is different, okay, but okay, okay, the okay. top is identical. What the flip? I do not even... Listen, I recognize my own fault. That's recognizable. Yeah! Whoa, that's crazy. That is nuts. He copied it from a video as well. There's no way he could have copied it onto the server. That's insane how he's done that. Well, you must have lots of hours on that video right now. Where's the buttons? Hang on a second, guys. If you don't know what this does, does it work? There you go. 
So it closes all the, check that guys, so it closes. We did a video on this. I actually got the inspiration from another creator, but I did my own kind of design. But yeah, so it closes all the windows to keep everything out. And then when you want, when it's daytime and stuff, you just, it opens all the windows up. That's insane. That's absolutely insane how you managed to make that look identical. And then this is his other base. Yeah, guys, this is his Horde Knight. This is some beefy Horde Knight. Wow, you can imagine the drama that comes down there. And he's got a... Oh, he was talking about an underground farm. Yeah, that'll work. Does that work for the whole lot, though? It does. Look like it's growing, yeah. So he made an underground farm, and this goes right to the top. This is very, very nice. You've done a really good job. Yeah, I'm actually really happy to see something like this. Yaro, well done, man. Absolutely well done. I think this is even, even, even more amazing that you've copied this one-on-one -on -one like this. Great job. Great job, great job, great job. So guys, I took the power off. Shit. Turn the lights on, Ajay. No, no, no. Wait, three seconds. Is my time wrong on my phone? No, it's correct. Even What's my time is put on. Wait, don't panic. Panic. Oh, there you go. Really? Alright, power went off. You just switched it off and then beep, beep, Yeah, guys, so we're logging off. Let's not log off in there. Yeah, so there you go. My power's gone off. So we need to go out the game so we don't eat the, the battery too much. Um, and here we are. I'm just gonna go ahead and change. You wanna turn those lights? I'll do it, it's fine. What lights? The, the LED lights, so they're, they're plugged into the wall. Uh. Yeah, alright, let's just change the camera around here, guys. I'm just gonna be right back guys. I want to plug in the LED lights back in So here we go, power's off, but we have power, amazing, uh, odd how you have to uh, have to schedule your life around that, we, we are very used to it. it, it's come to the point we know it's coming, we do have a schedule so we know when it's going to happen and when it comes back on, so it's, it's okay, you know, it's fine, let it be what it is. Uh, did you lose power again? Yeah, it's gonna go from 12 to 2. I'm not waiting and I'm just gonna chat with you guys here for a bit. Uh, yeah, so RJ still busy. In fact, I can actually pick you guys up. And we can, we can take a look at RJ there. Doing her thing. Huh? Everybody sees you, RJ. <laughs> We don't have a light, so we can't show you that. But uh, you guys want to see my PC, right? That's that's mine. That's the my, my new um, my new uh, my new case. So I think that looks pretty cool. So RJ, you know, uh, this room's a hell of a mess because we've been so busy with um, getting it all up. Sorry guys, you're gonna be moving around like crazy. Let me just put you there. So, yeah. Uh, flash warning. Yeah, flash warning. Flash warning way. What are you talking about? That's a nice case. Thank you. Yeah. 
a, a decent case. Like I said, it, it looks nice. Uh, it was a hell of a mission to try and get things the way they are. Uh, because they didn't really build it properly when it came time to uh, putting your radiator up as well. I had my radiator at the top and at the very end there wasn't much space to pull through your wires because the radiator was blocking the, uh, the outback for it. So that was a bit of a pain. But we worked around it. We just squeezed it, like really, really squeezed it. And then my motherboard, the, the one connection uh, for the motherboard, ATX. the ATX cable... Uh, I, 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 I cannot tell you how close it is to my fan. It is extremely close to my fan. So the ATX cable is plugged in and my fan is like right there. And the noise that we were hearing just now, I think that's what it was. I think it was touching the ATX cable. If that's the case, I have to move the whole thing around and put the radiator in the front and not on the top because there's just no space for the ATX cable and the, yeah? Metal, like a pop. Metal. Yeah, I also heard that. It sounded met like metal. It was a bit strange. I don't know what that was. But yeah. Co close to your OnlyFan. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> Is this louder now than usual? I think it's because I'm too close. Uh, uh, aim the monitor and you get video feedback effects. Ah, I see. Okay. Um, my case is a uh, monster, didn't realize how big it was going to be, but it's pure black, uh, be silent case to muffle all the sound from the PC. Okay, yeah, it's decent, yeah, it's nice to have no sound coming from it, although, mine, mine's very quiet, I don't really hear it, which is nice, but it's just that one sound that I, that I heard that wasn't right, it was hitting against something, because the case is just assembled today so this when i was streaming it was the first time i even tested everything so it could have gone really wrong really quickly but luckily enough uh, andre put it together quite nicely and it's working perfect you know there's no issues with it at all i've got 32 gigs of ram now because i got rj's old ram she's got new ram which is higher it's faster speeds so she's got what 16 gigs yeah, 16 gigs, 4,000 hertz. Mine is 32 gigs, I think 2,000 hertz, right? Uh, 266. 266 something, so yeah. Uh, cheers everyone, have a good evening. Bye, Sebastian, we'll check you around. Thank you so much for joining up on the stream. If you guys are just joining in, my power's gone off, so I cannot continue playing Seven Days to Die, which I was doing very well, thank you. But yeah, I don't want to eat my battery and then have nothing later. Uh, my old PC sounded like an aircraft carrier taking off. You know what? The uh, you know the old the old nineties PCs sounded like that. Or well, the two thousand PCs. Whoo, they were loud. Starting up and then you know, uh, and they used to make a lot of heat as well. I remember having a LAN evening, and you would sit there and everyone. Uh, well, here in South Africa. Uh, everybody usually has like a house in the back of their um, their main house. It's like a little shack. It's usually for the uh, the maids and the people who clean the house. They stay in this little shack. Um, it's called the kaya. We call it a kaya. <laughs> and uh, that little kaya was used. We, we don't really. Some people don't have maids, and usually when we do have maids. Uh, they don't stay there anymore. They've got a house. They stay somewhere else. So that Kaya just gets left untouched. And I remember we go there and we use that little Kaya as a LAN evening night. It was big enough for like four or five PCs. You would just stuff everything in there. And that whole Kaya, that whole little house, used to really, really heat up. And I remember like at midnight, we were all outside <laughs> getting the fresh air because it was so hot inside this thing. It was crazy. But yeah, it was, it was good times. Uh, yeah, if it was made up of old parts, my dad had laying around and it did kick out a hell of a lot of heat. Yeah, you could, you could use them as heaters. But I also think after being in this place that I stay now, this room that I'm in, I think that there is a... I think my PC is outputting heat as well as my inverter that I have 
that's making this room quite hot because there's no ventilation in this room. There's no way for the air to go. So what's happening is the hot air coming from the PC is just staying inside this room and it's got nowhere to go. The solution to this is to get an aircon. That would help out quite, quite a lot. But again, an aircon is quite pricey. I think it's like $600 or something. So we'll wait on that. I think when summer comes, I'm probably going to try and get an aircon installed because I'm going to die in here. And it's very hard to do videos and content without AC. It's very bad. Very, very bad. It's, it was horrible. I remember when I, I did the Breaking Point series in the heat. The other one I did in the heat. Ten minutes in and I'm dying. I need to take a break. Open a window. That doesn't work. I tried. I've only got one window in this room and it's massive. It's a big window. She's cold there, but... One window. It's okay. And also, I'm quite loud when I talk as well, when I do my videos and when I'm talking with you guys, it sounds quite loud. Um, it can interrupt the neighbor if they've got their window open. I mean, the neighbor's not that far, so I, I, I intend to leave it closed. They can't hear me. These places are well insulated, so you can't hear what's outside and you can't hear what's inside. So that's, I guess that's a nice thing, but that comes with the disadvantages of having uh, no ventilation. <laughs> um, Jericho says RJ behind and she's she looks like the what the grudge it looks like the grudge the grudge I don't know uh, yeah so opening window doesn't help what I what I wanted to do is I wanted to attach computer fans to the to the uh, the windows right uh, but I don't know how to really wire a computer fan to a plug and if I did, would it break the computer fan? Because there's a lot of voltage going through. Because I, I think maybe USB would be better. But um, yeah, so if you attach a whole lot of computer fans together and then you attach it to the, to, the, um, to the window and then you have the fans blowing in. So it sucks cold air outside and brings it in. I think that would help a lot. Not the other way around because outside is ice cold. If I go outside and I'm in a jacket, inside is very warm. I need to bring what's outside inside. And then obviously that'll just be the bottom part of the window and the cold air will come in and then circle, circulate and go out. Um, just join. How long have you been streaming for? Uh, an hour and a half, I think. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm not playing Seven Days to Die. I know the title says Seven Days to Die. Um, but uh, my power's gone off and I can't play Seven Days to Die. So I'm... I'm here talking to you guys, we can pretend to play Seven Days to Die. That's something we can do. We can say, hey, I'm, I'm killing a zombie right now. It's happening. We'll do a mission in a couple of minutes. I'm digging a hole. And I'm surviving very well. Very good at this. Molotovs, haven't been myself, not once. Uh, Sleepy Joe says, don't. Use your wiring tool. Yeah, if only. Sleepy Joe, the reason why I haven't done it, because I know it doesn't sound very safe. Um, oh, you wouldn't need to wire it to a plug. You can just use a 12 volt rail or even get a little solo set up. Just wire it to a car battery. Yeah, yeah, I know you could do that as well. That would work as well. Uh, but then again, you have to charge that battery. That's another problem. So you want something that has unlimited power that sits there that doesn't bother you with it. But yeah, it's a plan I can do. It's something I can do. Definitely uh, something. But I'd rather just get an AC. I just pop, put the AC on the wall. Box out the, on the outside, sucks in the cold air, and then I'm good. Not a problem. Uh, zombie RJ sneaking up behind you. Hello, RJ. We can see you. We can see your legs. You need to get a tan. Get the manual. Um, She's reading the manual. The, the pins, the power pins. Yeah, I'm sorry Arja wasn't on the stream tonight, guys, but she still says she's going to stream. Guys, support her on her channel. She would really appreciate if you would hop on her channel, subscribe to it, watch her streams. She plays a lot of World of Warcraft, but she'll mix it up from time to time. I think she's trying to get back into Genshin Impact as well. Genshin. Genshin Impact. Jeez, bloody nerds in their games. <laughs> uh, 12 volt solo would be perfect. Works all day cheap. Yeah. Yeah. I've actually got solar lights in my garden. I'm quite a solo type of guy. That came out terrible. I'm so sorry. 
<laughs> I'm a solo type of guy. Yeah. <laughs> Am I, is that my OnlyFans account, being solo? Uh, no, I've I, I got a lot of solo around. I've got a lot of solo, solo sensor lights that get put up on a wall. You can't really do that here, but I, I put them up on top of uh, a, uh, a wood trestle. And then they charge in the day, and then the night time they sense and they come on. I've also got little garden lights as well. They, they light up. And my inverters here as well. I've got a lot of lights and stuff, and I'm quite nice if... I've got another one in my bedroom as well, which is also very nice. It's um, uh, it's quite bright as well. It works very nicely. Uh, yeah, I need to finish that bunker build. Just need a couple more items to finish it. It looks fantastic. It really, uh, keep it up. You should build some other stuff in mine now. Build one of my towers. I would love to see that. I like the tower builds. Uh, hence the solar setup. Have a quick look on Amazon how much one would cost I uh, run all my lights fridge and entertainment systems from 12 volt my electric bill has been zero really jeez no we don't use Amazon here we use take a lot Amazon is just not Amazon's actually coming to South Africa soon like I just said now so yeah Amazon's not in South Africa they do deliver to South Africa it just takes longer than what you would like it to be so yeah we got another thing called take a lot take a lot in South, in South Africa is quick you know it takes about half a week yeah. depending on what you want to buy because some stuff says in stock out stock if it's got no stock it'll take about a week in stock three or four days it's here uh, can you open up the window at the top and bottom so the window is in the middle uh, no I can actually show you. Okay, there is my 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 curtain. I'm gonna open up the window to its full extent. Just put my zip on. Check the zip. You always gotta check your zip before you do anything. So, from there, up, you can see, I'll close it for you, okay? Yeah. So yeah, that's basically what it is. It's a half a window of a, like a door, so let the hot air out of the top and cool air in the bottom. Yeah, I could do something like that. Oh, it swings out about 30 centimeters. Uh, yeah, I would say that, yeah. 90 degrees out. 90? 90? 90 square? Out. Yeah. Yeah, it's a, it's a nice thing. I actually had to... Um, uh, tighten it as well because it only went out like a very little bit and I like it fully open because the wind can come straight in so I just tightened the uh, with the screwdriver uh, oh well I'm not sure about the prices over there but a 110 a deep cycle battery would charge in England fully of, of a 200 watt panel. Hey, we get a lot of sun, so I, I would imagine so, but I can't really have solar power where I'm staying. Yes? Show this to the stream. I didn't do this last time. What, what's this? My RAM. Oh, RJ wants me to show you guys her RAM. Because I didn't do it the last time because I forgot it was packed in the motherboard. Yeah, yeah. So that's RJ's RAM. She gets to put that in her PC. There you go. Thank you. Yeah, so I can't really have solo where I'm staying. That's not something, it's not really an option. I, I can't put solo. Uh, I, can, I can have inverters. 
uh, that's connected to the electricity grid that charges. Uh, it needs to be certified, as of course. Uh, it needs to be certified by an electrician. Can't do it sneaky, sneaky, sneak, sneak, or DIY. No. You could do it DIY, but if something happens, you can be in big trouble and you don't get insurance and claim. So. Uh, now just I have the same RAM. It's got the same RAM as you. I'm on. Yeah, you guys don't want to see my RAM. Thanks. Yeah. You guys don't want to see my RAM. Even my brother said, don't show people your RAM. <laughs> it's bad. It's very bad. It's all different brands. And it's different number. No, it, it makes out to 32. But it is all different brands. No, but there's two, there's two that are ballistic. And then there are two that are something else. But they're all the same speed, so it's fine. But it works. And I got 32. So I am not concerned. It doesn't bother me as long as it works. That's all that matters. Capish. That's it. You would notice here in South Africa, a lot of South Africans like to mix their stuff around. So you'll have like... Um, an AMD that, and then an NVIDIA that, and then an Intel that, and then a Red Dragon that. It's all just mixed and just thrown in there. Just as long as it works, you know. Because a lot of South Africans are quite poor. They can't afford just to buy a new PC case. It's like, no, just, just build it out of the junkyard and hope it works, you know, something like that. And that's how Mark started. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to play some Conan. Thanks for the stream. Enjoy your night. Catch you tomorrow. Bye bye. Might as well check you around next time. I, there's a lot coming to our Conan server tomorrow, by the way. Guys, if you're a Conan player, you're more than welcome to join us on Conan Exiles. So uh, you can come and play Conan with us. I'll be playing tomorrow. It's, it's my day off tomorrow. I just want to relax and play some Conan. Saturday, I'll probably stream with you guys. I think that's a good idea. Um, what is your favorite game growing up? That's a hard question. Mills, that's not a hard question. Okay. No, it's not. Um, when I was younger, my brother had a really bad, really bad computer. Um, I think this was, geez, what year was this? This was 2000 something. And I was young and he had this computer and the only game he had on there was Call of Duty 1. The World War World War Two one, you know, Call of Duty one, and that's all he had. I didn't know anything about gaming, and I didn't know about PCs or nothing, and I, I just wanted to play something, you know, I just wanted to try it out. I wasn't like a kid who was interested in gaming or anything. And I hopped onto that, and I loved it. Absolutely loved it. I played that game every day for, like, years. Like, your dad still plays that game? My dad still plays that game. That's this type of thing. Uh, my dad's not a gamer, by the way. He just plays this World War Two game, and then he's happy. That's what he does. And yeah, I played that game, I played that game, I played that game. And then one, one day my brother had a LAN evening. And th this friend of his, um, he rocked up with his PC. He had, a, he had a pretty decent PC. And he had a game on it that I fell in love the first time I saw it. It was my favorite game. It still is to this day. It can still be. It's just gotten very old. And it, 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 I've got massive love for this game. Can you guys guess what it is? I know. This game it means a lot to me. Uh, if I play it, I actually get like nostalgia, sadness when I play it. I've never played it on the channel because it's very sad to me. I, I can't, I used to, that was my, that game was my internet. I didn't even know what internet was until, uh, until later on. But this game was my everything. I played it every day. Not Genshin Impact, your chop. <laughs> Solitaire, no. No. Um, hey, hey, how's Mr. Reach, uh, Mrs. Reach's PC coming along? She's actually behind me on the floor. Wave. She's busy. Wait, wait, where am I? Here I am. Yeah, she is. She's busy building her PC. <laughs> hey, Reach? Settlers. That's actually one I did play as well, yeah? Show. What do you want to do? Graphics card time. Yeah. Let me show them. 
Oh, there's a graphics card. Puny! It's a team Puny! Puny, puny, puny! I like that card. I shouldn't have done that. Now you're going to get a donation for a graphics card. Because I call it puny. <laughs> Someone's going to make you puny. Uh, Settlers was a game I did enjoy, but it wasn't Settlers. It was Oblivion. The Elder Scrolls Oblivion. I saw that game and all I wanted to do is play it, but I never had a PC that could play it. My brother's PC couldn't play it. I never had my own PC. Uh, my brother, I used to use his PC. Wow. I can't tell you, I really love this game. I just fell in love with it. I threw out Call of Duty and I didn't care about that anymore. And I started playing on my friend's, for his friend's PC, uh, Oblivion. Loved it. Uh, and then one day, my brother built me a PC and he built um, a decent enough PC to play Oblivion. I was like, yes, all I'm going to do is play Oblivion, nothing more, nothing else. And I did. I played Oblivion for like two, three years straight. Didn't do anything else. Didn't play anything else. Then, a couple of years later down the line, my brother comes home with a new game. Internet game. What was it? It was World of Warcraft, Wrath of the Lich King. And that is when, basically, where Reach Gaming started. No, that's where your life was gone. My life was gone, but Reach Gaming started there. Reach Gaming used to be a guild on, well, it was never called Reach Gaming. It was no, actually it was called, old it, was old, it was called Old Timers. <laughs> I did not name it. It was given over to me by old, older folk who played the game. Uh, but yeah, Reach Gaming's original name was Old Timers. Yeah. Um, and then I, I ran a guild off there and then the, the thing took off. I met new people and Reach Gaming slowly grew into a community, a gaming community. Then we started hosting servers. Then we started um, doing events, doing giveaways. And then uh, it turned into a YouTube channel. Started doing YouTube giveaways on YouTube. They're still on the channel, by the way. And then it changed. I made Seven Days to Die and then I... Uh, Got into YouTube. That's what happened. I never played Morrowind. I never played Morrowind because at the time I didn't know how to read. That's why I never played Morrowind. I actually learned how to read at a very later stage in life, guys. I wasn't very uh, good at, um, at school. Let's just say that. Uh, I learned very later. I only learned how to read when I started playing World of Warcraft. Um, and I was, you, you had to really know how to read if you wanted to communicate with other players because you have to type to them in World of Warcraft. So, yeah. Uh, why would you consider playing some of the older co-op games like Splinter Cell? I never really played Splinter, Sp Splinter, <laughs> Splinter Cell. I only played Splinter Cell on the PlayStation 2, which I don't know which one that was, but yeah. No, I, I, maybe a co-op game? Sure. Why not? But not Splinter Cell. That wasn't really my thing. Wait, so how did the official name Reach Gaming happen? Oh, how did that happen? There's a story on that on YouTube. No, don't watch that because that's old. And that's, that's, monet, that's demonetized and all sorts. It's hit by uh, demonetization, so not everyone can watch it. Uh, Reach Gaming name bega began... World of Warcraft... But you see, South Africans played on the pirated version of World of Warcraft, okay? We couldn't afford the fancy, nice, official World of Warcraft. We played on the pirated servers of World of Warcraft. And yes, it's a thing, and yes, it's a big thing, and yes, a lot of people do it, okay? It's a thing, okay? You can do it. It's... Don't do it, but you can do it, okay? <laughs> it's, it's possible. Uh, there's a lot of big popular servers for that as well. There was a popular server called ReachWow. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it was it was very popular and it, it it released my favorite expansion called Catalysm and I played on that server and I love the name I I I I saw the name Reach Reach Wow I just love the Reach word okay played on there had a good time then my brother came home with another my brother's responsible for a lot of the stuff came home with another game and this other game was called Rust ha Rust. My brother really loved Rust because you could kill people in it and it's this type of thing. And I was like, okay, cool. I like building. I built my base in Rust. I got raided like 
every single time I built the base within a day. And uh, my brother wanted to host a server for um, Rust. He asked me, what name do you think would be nice for a server? So I thought, hang on a second, I've played ReachWow. Why not Reach Gaming? That's a cool name for a, a, a popular Rust server. And bang, it blew up. Uh, our Rust server used to have around the max amount of players you could have at the time. I think that was 60. South African. It was all South African. It was a South African community. So we had a very popular South African Rust server going. And that's what happened. It, it, it just I just took the name from there. Reach Gaming was the name of my community. It was, the never, it was never the name of me. I actually adapted the name into myself when I left the community. So you started? I stole the name from myself. Because, yeah. Um, hey, how are you, bro? Hey, you're doing well. Sorry, guys, I know you're joining in here and it says seven days to die. Uh, I'm so sorry. Things have changed. I, I can't change it. So, yeah. <laughs> um, I've heard that many people learn English that way. Wow. Yeah. So I used, I used World of Warcraft to learn English and I think that's a really great way to do it. Because you need to know, if you want to interact with players, you have to know the uh, the the language. I had to read. Adriana used to go by the name Mr. Dread, right? No, no. Okay, so that was no. That was my idea. I wanted to be Mr. Dread on YouTube. That was gonna be the name of this channel. It was gonna be Mr. Dread. That was it. Not Mr. Reach. Mr. Dread. I got that name because I liked another content creator, which I still like him, by the way. His name is Mr. Moon. So I wanted Mr. Dread. Very close to Mr. Moon, Mr. Dread. I was like, eh. I did, I did Mr. Dread for a while. Even some of the uh, old videos of mine says Mr. Dread. But uh, I never felt it. I never, I, I never felt that. I, I didn't think it, 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 it was good. So I then decided, you know, let's just take my community name, Reach. I'll be Mr. Reach. There you go. I'm Mr. Reach. My original gaming name was General. That was Field Marshal General. No, no, no. It wasn't Field Marshal. That was the adaption of that. But my original one was General. I used to play a lot of Daisy and a lot of Armor, Armor Daisy, and then I ran a a Milsom, uh group where we would you know act like the military and we'll do like uh, movements. Uh, and be like part of the, like a unit in, in Daisy or Armour. And that's where I named myself General, because I thought it was very fitting. I always used to command them to, to battle and stuff, so I called myself General. So then I promoted myself after a while, and I called myself Field Marshal General. That was my gaming name, Field Marshal General. It was quite funny, because every time I would join Discord or TeamSpeak, it was TeamSpeak back then, um, I would listen to my friends... They always used to call me General. I said, no, you have to call me my full name, Field Marshal General. He says, no, I'm not going to do that. That's too long. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> uh, to be honest, I like Mr. Reach more. Yeah, I also do. That's why I chose it. I don't like Mr. Dread. Mr. Dread feels weaker than Mr. Reach. It, it, the, the name has to look strong and it has to... Um, feel strong when saying it, Mr. Reach. It's like, it's hard to, to, to tell, to, to explain it to you. That's why I also named myself Field Marshal General, was a strong name. If you read that name, you automatically think of a, of a general in, in battle, you know? So that's why I, I like that name. So yeah, I, I've done a lot. I've done a lot where I've got to now, for my, my YouTube channel, I've done a lot. There's a lot that, that I've done to get here. It wasn't just wake up one morning and become a YouTuber. So yeah, definitely tough. Uh, I told myself to read English because Dutch books were getting boring and felt wrong to read. Well, I only know English. I don't know any other languages. I, I pick up a few words from RJ and uh, another language here called Zulu. I pick up a few words. Other than that, that's it. I would like to learn another language. 
Kenneth, here you are. I'm so sorry you missed the, the gaming part of this segment. That was in the beginning, until my power went off. It's been off for 35 minutes now. Thank you so much for the subscribe. What was that? Zoot! Hey, welcome. You like the talking, then, eh? Okay. <laughs> I appreciate it. Thank you very much. But yeah, I think I think the stream's quieting down quite a bit. I think we might run off soon. 31 people watching, 82 likes. We didn't make the 100 mark, but it's fine. Lajara, I'm off to sleep before I fall asleep. My phone dies. Night, everyone. Bye-bye, Lajara. It was good chatting with you. We'll check you next time, man. And your base is awesome. Keep it up. Kenneth okay, says, making dinner. Oh, we ought to take out tonight. Uh, burger and chips and a, and a milkshake. I've actually got a milkshake in the fridge. It's going to go bad if I don't. I have another burger, too. Yeah, I need, to, I need to go for that milkshake. Otherwise, it's going to go bad. Because the power's off. I don't even translate English to Dutch. Talking is a bit more difficult, though. Your English seems to be good in the chat. Yeah, I don't have any problem with it. You know, a lot of people who talk in the chat, you don't actually have to speak English. You just need to make me understand what you're saying. I mean, you can, I don't know, you can, you can leave words out of everything and I would understand it. Okay. Yeah, so, RJ stream tomorrow, right? Yeah, guys, go check out RJ's channel, go subscribe, hit the notification to get notified when RJ goes live tomorrow. And it was a good chatting with you guys. I needed this chat, it was nice. Um, I had a tough, a tough time the last day or two on my, my Twitter and my channel. If you haven't been following, I've had a bit of a, a discussion, more like, with a certain few individuals on Twitter. I wasn't too happy. But it is what it is, and there's no reason to go any further with it. So, yes, if you guys followed, you would understand it. Uh, Mr. Reach, where can I find your base in the current end server? You cannot. Yes, you can. Uh, just just watch my streams. You'll find them. They're not hard. I open my map up in my streams quite a lot. Yeah, another thing I want to discuss, guys, is YouTube, like I said in the past, is a mentally problematic thing sometimes. So... As I mentioned, I had a bit of a problem on Twitter and it was due to a video I made not too long ago. Uh, it was about seven days to die mod launcher, how to install mods. Uh, it took off a little bit badly on Twitter and even Facebook itself, the Facebook seven days to die group. And as much as I am in for criticism and suggestions and learning new things it's great however it's a bit different when someone comes to you in a different way you know if they want to tell you something they got to be friendly about it they can't attack you with something and then expect you to be nice about it that's why i always tell people whenever you find something aggravating or angry especially in the comment section about anybody the best thing you could ever do for yourself and for the person you're talking to is to say right not because you're passive aggressive in any way it's because human nature it tends to like to fight with each other and you want to stay away from that so you say all right and you step back and you think about it you don't progress in it any longer because you're just going to fight with yourself. You can't argue with someone over the internet simply because it's, you think you're right, maybe you're not. It's never going to work. You cannot prove to somebody that you're right if they, if they think they're right. It doesn't matter at the end who's right. I just wanted a good conversation about it. I never wanted to have an argument about it. You know, if someone comes and tells me, hey, hey man, you're a little bit wrong with this. Um, because of this, because of that, this is why I think it's bad, this and that and this. Um, but yeah, it's, it's cool. At least you made a video. Um, maybe next time try this a little bit differently. Try this a little bit differently. Instead of hitting you with so much cuck 
as what we call it in South Africa, cuck. So that's why I, I, I usually use our right quite often. And you guys will see this, and I have mentioned this quite a few times. Forget those internet bullies. We love you, Reach. I know you do. I know you. I'm pointing in the wrong place. You see, I'm pointing up there. I'm pointing, pointing over there. Uh, I still love the content you and RJ puts out. I try my best to do what I can, and, and, and I, I will always be true to the channel. I'll always be honest with you guys. I like to keep you guys updated on my feelings. Not that it's a great thing to talk about, but... We talk about it. Cuck, says my Marky knows cuck. So if you don't like something, guys, you say it's cuck. That's a South African thing. I shouldn't be doing that. I don't like South African slang. But yeah, it is what it is, guys. I wanted to let you guys know about that. If you've been following on Twitter, the Twitter drama between me and a certain individual, it's not for me. It, look, yeah, no one should be taking sides here. Even uh, like um, my channel, I, I, I did post the, the, the pictures because I was kind of shocked on Discord that this was actually happening, but I don't expect anybody to take a side. No one should take a side um, with this conversation, uh, with this person or with me. Uh, it's just a, a little debate that I had with the person. Uh, I think, I can think I was fairly okay as a person talking to him back. I don't think I was rude. And I, he probably thought you were rude. Yeah, he probably thought I was rude, because but it's- you can. That's another thing between me and RJ when we were together, right? Before we. No, but not just that. Like when she used to live in her own house and I used to live in my house, when we would WhatsApp each other, we would get into fights quite a lot because it's like you can't interpret your text. Is it a. It's just. Are you being nice or yeah, are you being rude? Yeah, exactly. Now that we live together, it's a bit different because you can interpret the text, like your, your voice. You can see the person when they're talking. You know what I mean? So it's very difficult to be on the internet and read this person like, wow, this guy is so ugly, but you don't know how he said it. That's the problem. Uh, put it simply, that person was not your intended audience. Yeah, the, the, the whole video with the Seven Days to Die mod launch show was for the absolutely very badly technically knowledge dads like mine who don't even know where to start when it comes time to modding your Seven Days to Die game. Not a chance. Like even me, back when I was very dumb and stupid with a lot of things, uh, when it came time to technical things, if I watched a video of someone moving a mod into a folder, or taking this folder and putting it there, I would opt out entirely. Because just the, just just seeing folders on a screen would, would make me scared and I would just leave. But if someone would give me like an app where I can download and then I can just download it off that, so much easier. I know it's not, it's not, it's just as easy to manually install a mod. It is so easy to manually install a mod. It's very easy. It's not hard at all. It's just that you got to think of that mentality, you know, as well. That's just what it is. People like me need videos like that, so keep it up. Well, it's what it is, you know. It is what it is. It happened. It doesn't matter. It really doesn't. I, I left the conversation where it was. I, I'm not going to continue it anymore. I even, like, I didn't make any more posts. I, I'm not going to make any more posts. This is the last thing you'll probably ever hear from me, unless it really blows out of proportion, and I'll be like, okay, guys, you know. I'd like to talk to you guys. You guys are awesome. Ta-ta. Ta-ta. What's that? Uh, what happened? Bye. Bye bye. Yes, it's time to go, guys. Seriously. Really? Yeah. Like, Why? Nothing. You want me to stay? Yeah, I could use to. I don't know. If people keep chatting, I'll stay. Here's a question: If you're not supposed to use the app to install the mods for Seven Days to Die, why is it there? You know, Adriana, that was also a question I had as well. Uh, there was a specific. I'm not going to mention names here, guys. It's not not intended. Uh, there was a specific mod creator that uh, didn't want you to install his mod on the mod launcher because it caused issues on his end because it caused a lot of technical problems. Okay, totally understandable. Understand. Okay, uh, why is your mod on the mod launcher to begin with? 
surely you can get it removed off the mod launcher considering it is your mod. If you get it removed off the mod launcher, you won't have these issues. So why is it still on the mod launcher? Is it there because maybe he didn't give consent to it and someone's just putting his mod up there? You know, it's just like, if you want your mod to be in the mod launcher, you should ask for it and it should be on there and then you are responsible for the problems. So yeah, that's also something I, I also thought a uh, uh, problem. So how did you both meet? Stone. Good question. We, we've actually got that question quite a few, quite a few times. Uh, we met at a franchise here. It's a food franchise in South Africa called Wimpy. It's very popular, like a like a diner type of place. Um, it's mostly a breakfast place, but you can order lunch and, and other stuff like that there. Uh, we met uh, there. Uh, I was sitting down with my my dad, and I was having a breakfast with him. And I saw this girl walk in and she was sitting down by herself having a cup of coffee. She was my age. I looked at her. I looked at her legs. I'm like, wow, this woman is... Yeah, that's weird. I that's, that's weird. She's kind of my type, you know. So I was like, yeah. I told my dad I'm going to ask her for a number. My dad just, ha. Ah. He laughed it off because I've, I'm a shy, shy, shy. I was shy then. I was a shy boy. I was never, I never had girlfriends, guys. I just didn't have the guts to go and ask girls out. It wasn't me. Uh, so, yeah, I was like, yeah, I'm going to do it. He didn't believe me. I don't know what made me do it, by the way, guys. I, I, I'm desperate. I don't know. I needed a girlfriend for love. Uh, yeah, so he got up to go pay the bill. And I'm like, I got up. And I went straight to her. She was sitting right beside me, by the way. I could, I could see her. And, and obviously... During the time I was sitting there, I was looking at her and she looked at me. She saw me looking at her. She smiled at me. So clearly that was like, come at me, you know. So I got up and I w walked up to her and I asked her, listen, uh, can I have your number? And she's like, no. no. It's a true story. Um, she said no. I said, oh, wow. Why? Why? Because she wants to get to know me first. So she told me to sit down. Well, I said, oh, well, I can sit down here with you and we can get to know each other. Just, she said, yeah, sure. I sat down with a complete stranger at this franchise. My dad came back after he paid the bill. And he's like, what? I'm like, yeah, uh, yeah. And he says, okay, well, he's going to go do some shopping. He'll meet me at the car. I'm like, okay. He went to go do the shopping and I sat there and I spoke to her and we spoke a bit and we got to know each other and she ate her food in front of me which was very strange because eating food in front of someone you, you may like is a bit weird. You know, you don't really do that, you know. Uh, but uh, yeah, after that, she says, well, here's my number. She gave me her number and I walked away with it. And so I actually, you know what? I actually got nervous as well. Uh, very nervous to sit there. I actually faked the phone call <gasps> from my dad. What? Because I, I, I was too nervous to be there anymore. So, yeah, I, I picked up my phone and I said, well, my dad's actually calling me. He's probably waiting for me. But he wasn't. That was a lie. I was nervous. I didn't want to be there. I was nervous. Um, so, yeah, I put the phone away. She said, okay, it was good meeting you. There's the number. You know, so I walked away and I got a number. And then the next day, we went on a date. Where did we go? Swimming pool. The yeah, we went to a public swimming pool. And, and and I got burned because I stayed in the pool for too long. So. And then I went to your place. Yeah. And then I actually officially met your father for the first time. Yeah, so guys, the second date, it's not, <laughs> it's not like that. She didn't come to my house for any other reason. Okay, relax yourself. No. But that day, that second date when we went to the swimming pool, uh, my dad t came to pick me up and I asked her, do you want to come home with me? Do you want to come see where I stay and stuff? Uh, see my room and see everything that I, my, my dog and everything. And then she's like, um, well, yeah, she was a bit nervous because, you know, I'm still a stranger. You don't really go with someone, a stranger. So she said, yeah, let me just call her parents and tell her where she's going. So she jumped in the car. She's very nervous. You're sitting in the back, very nervous. My dad was in the car. I was in the car. We drove to my place. And then, um, yeah, I showed her around, took a look at everything. I showed her my computer. And she says, oh, wow, I actually play some computer myself. I had an old computer. She had consoles. 
She has a toaster. She had a toaster computer. And then, yeah, I got to know her a little bit more. My dad was there. He's watching movies. She spoke to him for a little bit. It was very nice. So, and then uh, she went home that day as well. So it was perfect. Yeah, I remember everything. I got a pretty good memory when it comes time to these type of things, RJ. I also remember you were showing me Battlefield 4. Yeah. You were playing on and then, and then you were like, do you want to shoot a couple of them? And I was like, yeah, let me try. And I actually got a couple of shots in. And you were like quite surprised. <laughs> yeah, that's right. 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 Yeah, while um, with little hearts in your eyes and birds tweeting over your head. Ah, okay, that's in movies. That, well, that didn't feel like that. Come on. I was happy that I did that, of course, and I walked away with it. But yeah, ever since then, um, well, not as much as now because we're living together. But I, like, when I met her at that, that time, wow, my phone was the, the, busy, it's, the, busy, it, the busiest it's ever seen. My, my phone was never used. I, I wasn't very popular or anything. I, I wasn't unpopular, but I wasn't popular. I was like in the middle. I wasn't bullied at school. I, I was... I, I, none of that problem because I was... I'm a pretty strong person. I don't get bullied, you know. No one bullied me. I watched the people get bullied. I, I, I just was there, you know. I was the, the side character of the movie. And, uh, yeah, it's just... It is what it is. And I could talk my way out of most things, so it's fine. <laughs> no bullying for me. I never really got into fights or anything. I'm happy. I, I wasn't really that type. I was always the teacher's pet as well. I, the teacher used to love me. The teacher used to sneak me, sneak me uh, the answers to work sometimes. Just to sneak under my book. She, she would give the book back to me with the answers. Yeah, she would do this. You know who you are. Yeah, you do. But yeah, I don't know where she's gone anymore, but she did that for me. Uh, when you're remembering, I saw the gleam in your eye. I don't know what you're talking about. It's the, it's the, 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 the makeshift sun that's over there. A gleam. It's, it's, the, it's the thing there. See, it's the ring light. You, see, you can see the rings in my eyes if you look at it. You've seen those TikTok people. They've got rings in their eyes because they've got these ring lights everywhere. I've got a ring light here because it's the, it's the cheapest thing if you buy one of those proper streaming elgato light things it's bloody expensive they're nuts i'll just buy a cheap tiktok e-girl wannabe light thing for myself <laughs> they're bloody expensive but yeah guys the stream did well we've actually got uh, 80 89 likes tonight so far we need to meet, reach at least 10 more to reach our goal for tonight that'll be awesome That'll be great. Um, yeah, we, 37 people watching. Of course, it, it probably would have gone down a bit since we're not playing Seven Days to Die anymore. Really, really, really sorry, guys. Uh, if you're just joining and wondering where the hell the Seven Days to Die is at, I was playing Seven Days to Die, but now I'm not. That's pretty much what's happened. That's the truth, Ruth. Uh, Nanti, come on, 10 more likes. Yes, we need 10 more likes. There's 40 people on here. There has to be another 10 more likes here. Come on. Come on. It is now almost 1 o'clock in the morning. Oh, shit, I've got an hour to go. Why? I'm going to start this thing up. Oh, you got an hour to go. You can use my thing here. Oh, you can't use my thing here. I can't. Yet. I need to bring my screen too. She needs a screen and whatnot. Can I do that? No. Oh. Yeah, you can if you want. Oh, <laughs> All right, guys, I think we're going to call it here. It is going very quiet here. I don't want to sit and stare at the screen. Looks weird. But yeah, the stream did hold pretty well here on my inverter. And my internet's holding, so that's great. Internet doesn't run off electricity. Well, the, the router does, which is a power bank on there, but the actual internet cable doesn't run off that. Right. Bye, everybody. It was fun. Wait. There's RJ. What do you want? Oh, you want to show the PC? RJ's PC is done. This thing is very heavy. What does that help you? I got the stuff in. RJ's PC is done. <laughs> Wait, RJ. I just need to put in the template. Please. Want to put this on and show them? 
We all want to see this. We want to see RJ's kick ears. Oh, come on. There you go. <laughs> so, yeah, That's guys. Fun. Make sure you subscribe to RJ so you can watch her content. Tomorrow she'll be live stream. Not me, I don't think. I, I don't think so. I, I'm tired. I want to take a break. I'm playing Genshin tomorrow. That's it. Yeah, and then Saturday I'll do a stream or something for you guys. Hey, Dorkable. Hey, <laughs> Dorkable. Yay. She you put your hair down? That attracts the no, people. I am hot. Literally, I'm putting my hair. Got to put your hair down. You got to get the you get the donations like that, RJ. <laughs> <laughs> Too cute, thank you. All right, everybody. All right. What? what what's My back happening? is sore. All right. Okay. Me.